being a successful entrepreneur is not something that you can just draw out on a piece of paper and make a specific standard list of what you must own or what you must know or be able to do to be the perfect successful entrepreneur. It is rather a complex system of learnable qualities, characteristics and skills. That is why I made this video to discuss the three most generic qualities that an entrepreneur in my eyes should have in order to become successful. If you look online, you might find top 10 list, top five list of what you should do, what skills you should have and learn in order to become a successful business owner, an entrepreneur. But what I can say is that there is no standard list for you to obtain. And it might seem overwhelming. It might seem like it is so many, that there are so many skills that should be learned. It might seem that there are so many different truths out there. So what is the way to go? What skills and qualities should you at least have in order to become successful? In this video, I will go into these three qualities that you should have in order to become successful. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I am Luke Nicolas Velikritien. I am a certified management accountant and for the past 10 years I've been helping entrepreneurs create more success. I created this channel to help you as a business owner and entrepreneur create more business mastery and success. Quality number one, having consistency or persistence. Consistency or persistence is one of the important qualities you should have as an entrepreneur. So not focusing on the outcome, so not focusing on your actual goal, but actually rather focusing on the process. So just doing, just doing. So focusing on the actions instead. And why is that so important? Because on the, at the moment that you arrive at your goal, you take a victory lap, you, you, you take your eye off the ball and you stop doing what you were doing. And this is wrong. The goal here is that you're consistent day in, day out, day in, day out. That is the road, what I like to call it, the road to mastery. And what that actually is, is that you, you have the consistency to perform that what you do without taking a break. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go on holidays or you shouldn't go away for a weekend, but it has to do with what kind of activities you're doing. I see many entrepreneurs that go in and out of uh, a business industry just because they are following the money. They're following the shiny penny. The first next best opportunity they see, that is what they will pursue. So that is actually the contrary of being consistent. And as you know, People just have a difficulty doing the same thing over and over again. Why? Because it gets boring after a while. But that is actually where you can win a lot. But the concept and the idea of mastery has really impacted my life as well. Because I have seen, I've experienced that uh, doing whatever it takes to achieve a very specific skill set, a very specific experience set, requires uh, consistency, requires having mastery of what you actually do. Being it providing services, making products, it all boils down to consistency and persistence in what you actually do. The second important quality is having confidence and or self-assurance. And that translated on perhaps into more practical context is knowing what you can control and what you can't control. So there are so many things in life that we actually can't control. Can we control the economy? Can we control in inflation rates, interest rates? No, we can't. So why should you spend your valuable attention, focus and energy on things that you cannot control? What I see often people doing is that they spend their, 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 their focus and attention on factors that they cannot control, with the result them being very down when things don't go their way or very up when things are going well. You should try to focus and control your emotions throughout the peaks of the economy, throughout the, the peaks and the booms and busts of the economy, 
throughout the peaks of your life, throughout the peaks and falls of your life. Rather focusing on the outcomes, focus again on the process, on that what you can control and what you can control right now. Right now, you can't control the outcome you wish to have in five years, let's say five to 10 years. You can't control that, the actual outcome, but you can control the activities that you're performing right now. And that is what I often see entrepreneurs and business owners having difficulty with, that they focus very much on factors that they actually cannot control, which leads them to having a, a very unstable emotional circumstance. The third quality I want to discuss is the quality of adaptability or being innovative as an entrepreneur. Why is it so important to be an innovative person when starting out a business? You have to be innovative because you need the skills in order to come up with new strategies, with new innovative ideas, be able to move past the obstacles that come your way. Meaning that every fallen tree on your path, you need to see and find a way by going either under it, over it or around it. That is a very key principle here. Being innovative, being adaptable to your situation and helping your business do the same. Some closing thoughts here. So there is no golden or standard list that you as an entrepreneur can follow to become successful. But I can assure you that if you, if you apply consistency with sufficient amount of self-confidence, self-assurance and being adaptable and innovative, I can assure you that you will be much more successful than if you would not have those skills. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this video provided lots of value for you. If it did, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.